Hey, hello guys. Welcome back to the True Engineers. This time we have made something that we all loved playing during our childhood times. This is the remote control car. This is the car and this is the remote. Actually, this might not seem like a remote, but actually it is. Uh, you can well fabricate it and uh, do all this stuff. Same with this. You can build a good case and just modify the chassis so that it will look good. But for now, we have just made it uh, for uh, brief and you can just look at this circuitry and we will explain it later. First, let's have a brief demo. So, it's moving this way. Now, it starts it's moving front. It's moving back. Just turning around. See, it's a whole lot of fun doing this and you can spend your whole day doing this. It's one such activity that you will never get, you will never get bored of. So let's start with all this electronic circuitry stuff and it's actually very simple to do it. Just don't get very afraid by seeing all these wires. It's actually nothing. So let's start first with this. Uh, first, first let me tell you what are these components all. So starting with this we have these two 9 volt batteries these tactile switches then we have this encoder IC this decoder IC we have these RF modules these are used for wireless transmission then we have this motor driver L293 DNE and uh, then this voltage comparator uh, 7805 now let's start with the explanation part so first let's have a look at this motor the uh, remote sorry then um, we have first this encoder so what encoder is actually it encodes your data so we have these four switches and uh, according to it you can give your digital inputs like when you press this it's on and when you just leave it it's off and uh, these all are address bits which act as a password for a matching okay uh, nothing great it's very simple then we have this uh, transmitter of RF module this is um, actually connect these are there are four pins data ground antenna and vcc this is the antenna uh, you can actually make it uh, by using just uh, simple wires like we have done it so no fuss about this uh, then uh, we have just connect uh, connected all this with this data the data pin and uh, this will be transmitted to this uh, receiver now this data pin and this data pin you will get the output of all this at this data pin this data pin is connected now to the decoder for to decode all which was encoded here so again you have to keep this address bit same so that uh, the address bit acts as a password so it just matches then we have again this ground and all this stuff uh, we have this first pin as the vcc then this uh, um, this is the LED which is, if you get the if you receive the output then this LED will glow as you are receiving the output correctly this LED is glowing this is the uh, just it signals that uh, the circuit is working fine we have these oscillator pins it's actually very important part the resistors across these oscillators we have this same here also in the remote part also we have these oscillators the resistance should be such that the frequency of these oscillations matches so corresponding to it we have a graph of that you can find search it on the net it's very easy and corresponding to it you have to set the values if the values are not appropriate the circuit will not work okay the frequency should be matched that's an important thing now moving on we have this uh, control control out pins uh, from which we receive the output of this which will become the input of the motor driver okay now these control pins are control 1 2 3 4 and uh, these are now uh, inputted here now this control 1 or 2 uh, be the input and the with the positive and the negative side of the motor 1 there is the DC motors you can see here uh, we have just dash it here on the chassis and similarly control 3 and 4 for the uh, other DC motor ok now as you when press the switch what happens is the voltage of voltage uh, of one control gets reduced or tends to about zero uh, then what happens is the voltage difference is created and the motor starts working corresponding to the wheels similarly as for other wheels and we have this four according to which you can set your directions way in which way you want to move okay 
so it is based, uh, basically dependent on just uh, differential drive just you can move forward backward and uh, all these u turns and all these are possible uh, now the important part is what is actually the range of this as it is wireless uh, we have tested it uh, actually it's work about 60 to 70 beats and that's quite a good range and you can run it in the playground and all those uh, roads and wherever you want to do so this actually is very simple uh, just you start fabricating it uh, we will give you the circuits and the components component list in the last so you don't have any problem and uh, it's, it will be very much fun once you start doing it and actually when it runs you will get the uh, ultimate joy and the happiness uh, which will be beyond explanation so let's once again have a look at the demo You see, it's all working very fine. So, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. Try this at home. It will hardly take 30 minutes of your time. Do like our Facebook page, The True Engineers. And subscribe our video channel for tuning up to more updates and videos. Thank you.